question we get asked quite a bit is, when did you start making music together? And uh, originally, we were both in rock bands that were playing the same shows. And funnily enough, we both grew up in the same village. Same road, actually. And one day, I had this phone call of Tom asking if I fancied writing some songs with him. And uh, yeah, I suppose that's kind of where it all started, really. We started working on Silhouettes in Silverdale. Uh, we spent most of our lives there, so we felt comfortable writing songs in the houses that we'd grown up in, basically. We literally live like a stone's throw away from each other, so it'd be so easy for Ben just to come round and make some music. There's this, like, misconception that we both write these songs because of where we're from, but we don't see it like that, you know? We don't, we don't think about it like that anyway. I suppose we owe a lot to our parents and the things that they used to listen to. We were digging around through some of Ben's dad's vinyls and stumbled across some of the records we're literally discovering now. Only now we finish silhouettes, we can actually see where those influences have come from. It is a beautiful part of the world, and it definitely puts in a good headspace to write the album. But there comes a point where the comfort of home brings boundaries, so we moved to London to record these songs we'd written over the years. You know, I, I think it was a good move. I think it was. Moving to the city was pretty daunting for the two of us. The contrast is just so big from Silverdale to London, but I guess it made us see things slightly differently. We got talking to this guy, Olafur Arnolds, and we really liked his sound and the way that he goes about making music. So we played him a couple of songs, and before we knew it, we were in Iceland working on the album with him. It really set the tone for us and the way the album would fold out. We've just been on tour with Lapsley across North America for a few weeks. And, uh, you know, we started in New York, up to Canada, down to LA, and just about everywhere in between. It's funny, you know, you're always moving. It's this constant cycle, you know. You never really get to explore one place as much as you actually want to. You know, it all sort of blends into one. You wake up in a new city, you get some breakfast, you sound check, you get some more food before the show, and then you do the show, you get back on the bus, and the whole thing just happens again. Um, but at the end of the day, I suppose that's the beauty of it, you know? You know you're, you're meeting these people you probably won't ever see again. three-day drive from Chicago to Vancouver. You know, it was sort of a dream as kids, you know, just driving across America you know, for a few days with your mates. And um, yeah, it really put everything in perspective for us. It was so surprising to hear people singing the tunes we wrote back home in Silverdale. It just felt so surreal. I don't know if it's the same for everyone else, but we get this kind of anxiety before we go somewhere like America, wondering like, if anybody's gonna care. But seeing and speaking to all those people on tour really like, did something for the two of us, especially before releasing the album. We just 
couldn't comprehend the size and beauty of the whole thing. It was, um, it was unlike anything we've done, that's for sure.